backing up the transaction logs very similar to backing up the database and uh, let me just show you an example here first of all we want to use the master database again and we can go either route we can create a dump device just like we did before and uh, tell this is a disk device if we had a tape we could do that And I'll call this T-Log device. And then just give the operating system location. And I execute that. That creates my dump device. And now I can execute my backup log command. So I can backup log. And notice I'll have to put the name of the log. Okay? And so if I type sales notice it backed up the transaction log for the sales database to the log device okay now pretty straightforward very easy to do not tough at all now there are a number of commands that you need to be aware of with the transaction log and again my best advice to you is get out in the documentation and read over the various documentations on backing up the transaction log because there are situations, for example, if you let the log fill up and it stops and the database stops, you've now got a problem because the log is full and you really can't uh, empty the log because it tries to log into the log that it, you're doing a truncate on it. So you have to do a backup log with truncate only and that basically erases all the committed transactions from the log, which means you now have to do a full backup because you don't have them backed up on your transaction log backups anymore. So anyway, there's lots of little ifs, ands, and buts. Get out there in the documentation, read through it, and make sure you've got a plan that works for you and that you test that plan. Do keep in mind that I can also back up my logs to a disk if I would like. And if you'll notice, I can execute the very same command. I can go to a disk instead of a device. So lots of ways to go here. And a lot of times you'll do these log backups in jobs uh, based on the size or time or whatever on schedules and so forth. So that's how to back up the transaction log.